Bismillahirrahmanirrahim class 7 today we are going to complete our chapter number 11 that is the transport in human <coughs> it's the last topic of the job chapter that is the pumping cycle in this chapter you will learn how the blood get pumped throughout the body as you know that there are four chambers of heart and the blood from the body enters the right atrium through the large blood vessel called vena cava where is the vena cava this is vena cava and from here blood enters into the body and blood from the lungs enters into the left atrium through pulmonary vein and from the lungs blood comes from here and enters from the lungs and uh, the, um, uh, the atrium contract together pushing blood into the ventricles and then they contract together and push the blood to the ventricles from the left ventricle blood is pumped to the body through outer from the left ventricle blood is pumped to the uh, body through outer and uh, from the right ventricle to the lungs along the pulmonary, pulmonary artery both ventricles contract at the same time and every contraction of the atria and ventricles is called a heartbeat both contract contract or you can say pump at the same time due to which we can feel the heartbeat actually they are not pumping at the same time they pump just after one another that's why we can feel uh, one heartbeat one beat in fact there is really a double beat since the atria contract just before the ventricles you can see atria contract just before the ventricles this is important if blood is to flow through the heart in the right direction here you can see all the chambers are relaxed and blood flows into the heart in this diagram and in this diagram you see atria contracts pushing blood into the ventricles and atria is um, contracting and pushing the blood to the ventricles and now you can see the atria is relaxing the ventricles contract pushing the blood out of the heart here they are pushing up the blood out of the heart from this way from this way the blood is entering and this is the way when the blood is entered into the heart and on the next page your heart beats 70 times in a minute and when you are resting but when you are doing an exercise or an activity so it will pump 100 times so you can easily measure your heart beat from your pulse by holding your pulse from your wrist and you can count the uh, pulses and you can count your heartbeat you can feel pulses with your fingertips at your wrist where artery passes between a bone and the surface of the skin after reading this very carefully you can give the answers of the questions now um, talk about the heart diseases heart diseases are caused when coronary arteries get blocked by a fatty substances called cholesterol and when you eat too much oily and junk food so this may happen uh, your um, heart arteries can get blockage and uh, it may uh, the coronary arteries are very narrow when cholesterol stalks to the artery walls it makes them even more narrow this causes the blood supply to the heart it will make the blood supply very slow down so it means uh, that during exercise oxygen does not get to the heart muscles fast enough so a cramp crap like pain spreads across the chest this pain is called angina so cholesterol 
also makes the inside of the arteries rough which can cause the blood to clot clot can block the artery completely this blockage is called thrombosis a heart attack this uh, is a thrombosis and uh, coronary artery a coronary thrombosis with its blood supply cut off the heart stop beating so these are the heart diseases and they are mostly caused due to the oily food that we take and and do not do exercises on time and do not use the things that are used to digest our food so these are the multiple choice questions after reading the whole chapter again you are able to solve the multiple choice questions and the blanks and true false statements and here you can label the diagrams and from here you can uh, measure you can count your heartbeat when you are in the rest position and when you are walking and when you are running you can make uh, you can note down the time and also you can write here your experiment and your measurements